Hi, I'm Cass Fries, and this is a little bit about my art. I would say my work is subtle but commanding and inspired by landscape. I find beauty in the simplest things. They're things that are often overlooked or in our peripheral view, and yet they're kind of magic. My hope for my artwork is that it fills the room quietly, that it is additive, and that you don't tire of it. I love that these end up in people's homes. I shoot and stash. I love to capture and then put it away and sit on it. And then when something else happens that makes me think about that work, I'll go back through my archives and I'll find things that sometimes tell a perfect story. And I love it most when they're not all from the same location, when I can make a story that looks cohesive and it can be from different years and different places, but it all comes together so beautifully. I really have three collections of work. So I have my faded works, which are a gray and white. It's my interpretation of a black and white. I have my neutrals, which are very soft in color and faint. And I have my day is night collection, which is daytime imagery that looks like night at first glance. The printing process is, is actually quite long. Once I've put together a collection or a series of work, I then start testing it. And really the goal is to understand how it responds to my different papers that I use and the ink matter. Finding the right densities as we look at different scaling of the image. Sometimes focusing in on getting tones that marry with the inks in a way that they fit my existing bodies of work. Once I've done a lot of testing and test strips of pieces, I then will make a proof. And that proof um, sometimes might have some slight changes to it, or it might be an off size, and that's the AP. And that gets stored away for my private collection, and then I move on to printing the edition. Each of the pieces in the edition, there are originals. They're all hand-proofed by me and signed by me, numbered by me on the front, underneath the print area and each piece is made to order. It's a choice if you print them off at the beginning or as you go through the order process, and I prefer to do the latter because I believe that storing them isn't really conducive to keeping them perfect, and one of the things that's most important to me is the quality of everything I do, and I want everything to be perfect at every stage. It takes extra time, more trips, more proofing, but it's quality, and that's the goal. So we do it one at a time. My work is all museum grade, and I believe that there is an integrity that comes with using very high-end European cotton rag heavyweight papers. And the merriment of the ink printing styles I use, which are also archival, using pigment inks that leave a little residue on the surface, which gives it this very textural aspect to my work. And it's museum grade because it, it's tested to last up to 200 years. We can add a lot of uh, museum grade techniques in the framing and mounting, which preserve the artwork as well. We ensure that they have the right sort of glass or plexiglass on them. We use museum grade framing where there's corner spleens. And here you see the strainer that supports it. So over time, it keeps the frame from bending or bowing or the corners opening. And this is the French cleat for hanging. So you hang this on the wall and it balances the weight of the, of the artwork. So these are the crates, and this is how the artwork travels from here in New York. And you can see these are seriously robust, though the crates are handmade by the same people who make the frames. So this is truly like buying a museum-grade frame and buying a museum-grade crate. <laughs> I want people to know that my hands are on every single part of the process. I'm seeing their work through from the beginning to the end. I want the purchases that people make from me to be one that just constantly makes them happy.